Hope everyone's having a good day today. Figured I'd make this video for y'all. Uh, the reason for the video is discolored water. If you take a look at the color of that water, you can tell that it's kind of got a brownish dinge to it. Now, a little bit ago, maybe five minutes ago, that water was a little bit closer to the color of tomato soup. It looked really bad. I've been pumping it for probably 20 minutes and here's the issue there's there's a few when it comes to a situation like this now first off the well casing itself is actually below the surface of the ground so if you notice the ground level here and then the surface of the casing there if water penetrates through the ground it can fill this casing up which will then in turn dump into the well and make it discolored now that's just one scenario the second reason is that the casing there if you look that's metal okay this only has about a 40 to 50 year lifespan and anywhere down in there uh, 21 foot sections where the threads were cut where it seemed together those are going to rust out and once they rust out every time you get a heavy rain the rain's going to percolate through the soil and whatever color the turbidity of the soil it's going to take that rainwater and it's going to go down into your borehole and you're going to get water that looks like that coming out of your faucets so how do you fix that well there's a few ways to fix it what i first recommend would be trying to chemically clean your well with pool shock it take a bag of pool shock dump it down in your well and then take a garden hose and return it to your well from your house and circulate it for about 12 hours and then after you're done circulating it take the same garden hose and throw it on top of the ground and pump it out for a couple of hours there's a video on my channel uh, that explains in full detail on how to do that you just have to find it in my video list now the reason why we're here we're actually going to line this well we're going to change it from a six inch borehole to a four inch borehole and i'm going to show you the parts to you to do that now so here we have what we call our liner trailer and these are well packers so these are rubber wipers if you see this right here now these are meant for older five and five eighths inch casing and these are meant for new modern six and an eighth or six and a quarter inch casing and what they do you attach this piece here to a piece of the four inch pipe this will first be initially going down your well first, so that will be all the way at the bottom. And then you will push a 20 foot section down. You'll use a clamp here. This clamp is gonna clamp around the pipe. And then once you push the 20 foot section down, you can then take another 20 foot section, stand it up in the air and glue it, move another clamp and continue to push it down. So what we're trying to do here, we, we've brought 80 feet with us but the well only has 40 feet of casing in it so that's really all we need to worry about here so at 21 feet down in this well maybe the joint is leaking but i've also noticed another problem since i've started the video and i'll go over that with you next so this isn't really something that anyone can do themselves this is something you have to call a well professional in someone who knows what they're doing and explain to them that you believe that you need a well liner this is just the product that you're going to see them use or something similar to this and basically all it does this rubber wiper separates the water it keeps it below it and then the dirty water above it so the clean water below it will flow into the inside where the pump is going to be the pump will sit inside of here or the pump will come out of here so that separates the dirty water from the clean water and then if it fixes the problem what the state law requires you to do is actually pour cement around the, the two pieces. So you got a four inch pipe inside of a six inch pipe. The space around the outside will have to be filled with cement. So if you see here, we have about a 10 foot pipe pumping the water away. Well, I've been pumping it now for about 45 minutes, close to an hour. And let me show you what's happened. This is basically like if it's been raining okay you can see the the lay of the ground it all kind of flows that way so the water technically is flowing away from the well right now but if you come over here and you look inside the hole again now look now there's water in here so what has happened is the water that we're putting in the ground over here is actually saturating the soil and it's flowing back 
and it's filling up the concrete casing here and flowing down into the borehole, which is taking the mud and all that and dumping it right back down into the well. So that is probably what's giving them their dirty water in this situation. It's all because the well was buried. That's just how they did it back in the day. So we are going to still do the liner because we're going to take the old uh, casing out of the equation. Now you could go buy you a six inch um, adapter coupling that goes over the metal pipe and and it adapts to six and a quarter inch PVC well casing and raise it above the ground but you're not taking the metal pipe out of the equation. So when you take metal just like this, let's use this for an example. This is all rusty. Well it's made out of metal. The same as the pipe. Once it gets rained on and the air gets to it, it turns to rust. Well, the same thing is going to happen down in the well. You've got well water, you've got metal pipe, the water fluctuates up and down, that introduces air to it, and then it creates rust, and it eventually rusts the threads out, and then water can come in at any of the joints. Just like you're seeing here, the water is percolating through the soil. Well, eventually it's going to percolate all the way down to a joint. So, what we're going to go ahead and do now. I'm going to go ahead and turn the well power off, disconnect it, pull the pump out of the well, and I'm going to go ahead and install this liner, and it should fix it. And rather than leaving the liner at that surface, you know, below the grade, I'm going to go ahead and bring it up, and all eventually all this will be raised. I'll bring another concrete casing here. We'll add it to the top of it. The next pipe will probably stop somewhere about here. That way it's uh, 12 inches, 14 inches above the surface of the ground and no water, no surface water then can enter the well. Only water that will be entering the well is from the aquifer down in the ground in the rock. And I've been pumping it for so long that the water is clear now. So we've gotten rid of all the turbidity, which is all of the, the nasty stuff that used to be on top. So once we do that, the water should be clean and clear and the customer should be happy and we'll just go from there so i hope this video was informative for y'all i uh, give you a little bit of insight on why your water might be murky or muddy or dirty or orange whatever the case may be um, hopefully you found this video and you can call in a well drilling professional and tell them that you believe you need a liner thank you all for watching give it a thumbs up if you found the video informative if you have not hit the subscribe button i appreciate that a lot have a good one